I'm Alex Serena with Tuts Plus. Whether you're a budding podcaster or just looking to keep records of important conversations, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create high-quality recordings of your Skype conversations with GarageBand, a few free utilities, and some virtual elbow grease. So let's get started. Like I said, we're going to be using some free utilities to help us get our Skype audio into GarageBand. The first is called Soundflower. It's a powerful inter-application audio routing utility that's going to be the key to our recording setup. It's a free download from the developer's website. You can find a quick link to the download page in the body of the tutorial. Once downloaded, just open the PKG file and proceed with the installation. Since that installation is actually going to require a restart of your Mac, I've taken the liberty of installing it ahead of time. Next, we'll need this tool from the folks over at Rogue Amoeba called LineIn. The link to the download page for LineIn can be found in the body of this tutorial as well. Just download, unzip, and drag LineIn into your Applications folder. Now that we've got both of those tools installed, we can open up GarageBand and get down to the nitty gritty of our setup. We'll create a project with the empty project template. Make sure the microphone is selected. Now, click the arrow next to the text reading, My instrument is connected with. This will bring up the audio MIDI section of our preferences. Once there, we'll set our audio input to Soundflower 64 channel. You can set the audio output to whatever you're going to use to listen to the Skype call. Using a set of headphones will cut down on any reverb issues, so I highly recommend it. Now that that's finished, we can close out of the audio MIDI settings. Back in the new project dialog box, make sure that input 1 is now selected as your input. Then, just press create. Before we do anything else, I'll go up to Track and choose to create a new track. Just choose Input 2 this time, instead of Input 1. Once we've created our tracks, we're going to need to show something called Record Enable. Control click on one of your tracks. Then select Track Header Components. From there, select Show Record Enable. You'll now see the little dot has popped up next to both of your tracks. Click this dot on both tracks until it begins to blink red. This will allow us to route our audio from Soundflower and LineIn to one track, while Skype's remote audio goes to the other. To help us keep track of this, let's name one local and the other by remote. Do this by double-clicking on their names. Now just make sure that the monitor for remote is on by selecting this button, and that the monitor for local is off by making sure that the same button for the local track isn't selected. Otherwise, you'll be hearing double and it'll make for a maddening call. Finally, make sure your metronome is turned off by clicking this button. Once those settings are confirmed, we can save this setup to use as a template of sorts by going to File, Save As. As I'm not feeling terribly creative today, I'll give it the rather uninspiring name, Template. Perfect. Now, let's move on to Skype, but do not, under any circumstances, close out of GarageBand. Got it? Great. We'll move on to Preferences, and then Audio Video. We'll set our quote-unquote speakers to the Soundflower 64 channel track. Our input will be whatever microphone you'd like to use for the recording. Once those settings are confirmed, we can open up LineIn, but now we'll be keeping both Skype and GarageBand open. Make sure the input is the same as whatever you chose in Skype. Under Output, we'll again select Soundflower 64 channels. Next, choose Advanced Settings under Output. We're going to set both the left and the right input channels to 1 and both output channels to 2. Awesome. Now we can close out of the advanced settings and press that big shiny pass through button. Now that line in is set up, we'll move on to system preferences. But again, don't close out of Skype, don't close out of line in, and don't close out of GarageBand. Once we're in system preferences, choose sound. I'll choose our microphone as our input source, and the output device will be our headphones. You are using headphones, right? Good. Once that's set up, 
We can close out of system preferences, but not GarageBand, not LineIn, and not Skype. At this point, you might be feeling a little settings dialog fatigue, but don't worry, we're almost finished. Not quite, but almost. Now to confirm our final settings, we're going to open up the Audio MIDI setup application. It's located in the Utilities in the Applications folder, but I'll get to it with a simple spotlight search. Just choose your microphone and make sure its volume is set to 100%, or just 1.0. Do the same for both the Soundflower 2 channel and 64 channel inputs. Once that's confirmed, we're set. I promise. Now I'll just head back to Skype and initiate my call. Now that it's begun ringing, I'll quick jump back to GarageBand and hit record. My local audio is being recorded to my local track, and the remote audio is being recorded to the remote track. All is well in the world and you've just taken your recording setup to the next level, all without spending a dime. I'm Alex Serena with Tuts Plus, reminding you to use your newfound recording powers wisely.